So it's about eight o'clock in the morning and I'm just getting going. It's actually not as cold as I expected it to be. Looks like I've got much stronger winds today than I had yesterday. But again, bright blue skies. Um, looks really, looks to be a really beautiful day. And so I'm going through the little town of Oatman and it's kind of a little historic town just in the mountains and it's kind of famous for burrows, wild burrows in the area. Uh, but from what I understand, they aren't really hanging around in the town right now because the wildflowers are in bloom and the hillsides are covered in poppies and the burrows are out in the fields eating the poppies getting high. So I don't know, we may not see any burrows here in Oatman. Hey. Um, but here's the cute little town. Morning guys. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, yesterday I saw a lot of Corvettes. There's a Corvette rally going on somewhere. Probably saw a hundred, hundred Corvettes on the road yesterday. Here's a beauty. I've got a, a big climb ahead of me, I think about a thousand feet. And then when I get to the top, I have some very big news, very exciting, uh, exciting special news. And I'm going to uh, share that with you in, once I get to the top of this climb. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. Yeah, next nine miles, steep curves, steep grades. And maybe Boros. Yeah, still got snow, still climbing. Just kind of chugging along. you guys site groups pass elevation 3550 just gorgeous out here hardly anybody out it took me about an hour to climb probably won't take 10 minutes to get down on the other side but yeah let's go down So I've made it up and over the big climb from Oatman. Oh, the 191 turns, some of them 10, 15 mile an hour hairpins. And uh, I'm still going down. I think I'm gonna be going down all the way into Kingman. Um, and then I'll reassess and see what the road offers up ahead. But I really wanted to do a big shout out to everybody who is offering support and encouragement and contributing to my tour. I, um, you know, I made some posts yesterday on YouTube and Facebook and the outpouring of well wishes and enthusiasm was really so, so nice to read at the end of the day. And, you know, people are, 
supporting me through my Patreon account, maybe offering a cup of coffee once a month, or lunch, or buying merchandise through Myrtle's merch store. All of it helps, and some people are making direct financial contributions. Uh, yesterday, my bike club, the Pacific Northwest Recumbent Cycling Group, made a big, very generous donation to my tour. And I just can't tell you how much all of this is helping. You know, my idea was that I was going to camp a lot on this tour, mostly because uh, hotels are beyond my budget. And once I got going yesterday, I thought this is a little bit crazy because it is cold at night. Um, maybe too cold for me to camp, uh, to camp in 30 degree weather. And, um, you know, that's, that just feels a little bit crazy to me. And then from here, I'm going to be going up and over the Continental Divide, which I think is at 8,000 feet. So it's, it's going to get colder. And so with this financial support, uh, you guys are giving me some financial breathing room. So I know I'm going to be safe and I can afford to stay in hotels through this stretch once I get over the Continental Divide and then down to an elevation where the overnight temperatures are a little bit warmer and I'll, I'll be able to start camping. And uh, you know, this bike club, the Pacific Northwest Recumbent Cycling Group, um, they're very active. And these are, this is the group that puts together the recumbent retreat. Um, it's always the weekend after Labor Day in September. It's on the Oregon coast at Fort Stevens State Park. It's a fantastic event. It's the oldest recumbent event in the country, probably the world. This year is the 25th anniversary. And I think the wagon master Paul will be reserving campsites probably in the next week or so. Um, if going to something like that interests you, I really highly recommend it. And, uh, you know, again, just, just amazing to get that kind of support from my bike club and everybody else who is contributing to my tour. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, all right, we're continuing to go down and we'll reassess as we go. I made it to Kingman today, Kingman, Arizona, and I am at a Motel 6. My original plan was to get to Kingman and then look at the map, assess the situation, and see where I could go further. And it turns out there isn't any place that I could go within a reasonable distance and get there by, you know, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, today is a shorter day, like yesterday. This was, I think, 30 miles and about 2,500 feet of climbing. It was a very nice day. Uh, beautiful scenery. It was chilly. There's still uh, snow up on the mountains. Very little traffic. I think until I came into Kingman, maybe 20 cars passed me. So it was it was quiet and beautiful scenery. So this Motel 6 room, it appears to be completely remodel, much more reasonably priced than the room yesterday. This one is $75 a night. So I'll get a good night's rest. Uh, get uh, all my stuff charged up and be ready to roll in the morning. <laughs> 